The inspector tab is one of the important tabs in DaVinci Resolve when it comes to making changes to your clips. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use the inspector tab to modify your clips. With a clip like this, make sure your inspector tab is visible. To make adjustments to the scale, all you have to do is to increase and decrease. I can zoom in. I can zoom out so to reset the value all you have to do is to double click on the name the zoom name and then it's going to reset it back to its default value there are resets for all categories or all sections of it so if i should click reset it's going to reset the text and its parameters in here as well so another thing you can also do is make changes to the position you can make changes to the rotation and all these anchor points as well you can also use this flip horizontal flip vertical and you can use this for so many things with this crop you can also make adjustments to the video by cropping some parts of your video so there is this feature called the dynamic zoom and this dynamic zoom is going to help you make movement to your video without using keyframe so instead of me using the keyframe to scale it in if you've been watching my videos you will notice that i have been using the dynamic zoom a lot oh boy you can even see that oh boy <laughs> you see that is the dynamic zoom with video editing most of us know this that in terms of making changes to our clips by giving it a zoom out effect all we have to do is to first increase our zoom set a keyframe move ahead in time and then set back those values so once i view it you can see that i get that kind of effect so if i want to add more zoom i just have to use these buttons right here and then go to the first keyframe and then i zoom in a little so when i play this and i get the zoom out effect but with the dynamic zoom once i turn it on it automatically does all that for me the dynamic zoom in davinci resolve would save you a lot of time when it comes to you see this is what i'm talking about when it comes to doing this kind of effect on your videos instead of using keyframes all you have to do just head to the dynamic zoom you can choose from any of the options and you can also swap the positions then yeah you'll be fine that's it for the inspector tab in davinci resolve and if you have any further questions just leave them in the comments below